and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be a really brief video. Um, I'm really excited to film it. This is my second Loi Cretong this year um, and it's a really cool festival where everyone from Phuket and around Thailand come together and they make these little floating baskets um, and they float them off into their local river or lake or um, into the sea even and the one I'm going to is at Chilong Pier which is at the sea so hopefully there's not too much wind and they actually float away. Um, the whole purpose of this festival it happens every November at the full moon and it's meant to be an offering to the water spirits to say thanks for the water um, that we have and also as the baskets float away, the cretongs float away, it's meant to take like your bad luck and your bad karma um, away with it which is really really lovely and last year I went and I didn't manage to um, film any of it but this year I really wanted to show you what it's all about. Um, there are a couple of negatives I just wanted to raise and if this is a festival that you're going to take part in and um, if you're coming to Thailand that's really really good and you'll love it but it obviously produces a lot of waste um, and it's probably not the best for the marine ecosystem and um, 95 percent of these floating baskets are made from like banana leaves and um parts of the banana tree um however five percent are made from polystyrene and plastics which is obviously not good and even though most of them get collected you obviously don't want to be putting that into the water that's not very thankful to the water so i'm going to make sure that whatever if i buy one i'm definitely going to make sure it's biodegradable um i also wanted to really quickly let you know that i've teamed up with another vlogging channel called uh, expats everywhere and the concept of their vlog is like incredible because obviously if you're going to move to a different place um you want to know all about it before you do so their videos are about 10 minutes long they did an interview with me about Phuket and Thailand and the pros and cons of living here and the costs of living here um, and all sorts of things like that. So I'm going to link that below and I'm also going to try and link it in this video now or at the end. Um, and yeah, go and check that out, especially if you're interested in what it's like to live in Thailand. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video. Um, I'm going to head off now um, to the festival uh, and I'll try and give you a sneak peek of what it's like.
So that was Loi Cretong Festival. I really hoped you enjoyed having an insight into what it's like and what goes on. Yeah, I just have to say, like, one of my favourite things about living here is just how lovely the Thai people are and, like, how welcoming they are, like, tonight into us join joining in and, like, the festivities and, you know, taking part in their cultural event. It's just, like, so nice of them and they're really helpful and they kept relighting our cretong for us, um, which is... It's just really lovely and a really cool thing to take part in um, so yeah I hope you've enjoyed this video remember to go and check out that video that interview I did for expats everywhere on their channel and um, hopefully it's got some more information about if you live in Phuket um, or want to relocate to Thailand or Southeast Asia in general um, so yeah thank you for watching see you later